do you remember two years ago when I made that video and I said, see you next week and then... What video? You know, I made like a vlog two years ago. I made one vlog and I said, see you next week. And then okay. I, I think you never watched it. Anymore. I don't remember. <laughs> looking at myself has been extremely hard but that's why i think i also need to do this i need to be able to look at myself so this is also like an exercise for me to record myself look at myself because recording was never really the problem it's more the editing part where i then have to really look at myself but it's fine it is fine i'm gonna go through it we're doing it yes and also it's a way for me to like journal how I grow. I know you might be like, girl, just go to therapy. If you don't know, I studied fashion and art direction and I kind of have a love-hate relationship with both topics. But I thought, let's take you with me and show you everything. The good and the mistakes, the frustration I have towards those two things. Yeah, I just want to share my experience navigating through my creativity flow. So context, I had to make a video for my best friend Shannon, who is a young designer. She's a finalist for this um, fashion competition. I did the lookbook already for her, like the whole art direction and production for it. And I love this collection so, so much. She also got selected to participate in the video category. I said, I will do the video. Welcome to set. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hello. Bye, bye. Oh, you guys look so cute. Hi, <laughs> no Hello. Today we're creating art. Welcome to our slumber party. Welcome to our slumber party. It's like a crime scene. Cause she's oh, killing yeah. the fashion industry. Okay, you can stand up. <laughs> I love the fingers. Oh my gosh, that's oh. what we're creating on the. Oh, she's eating my. Ma'am, <laughs> murder. Um. Yeah. Oh wait, I'm not sure it's. Shannon's whole collection is about. Um, what is it about? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Wow. Do you like it? Yes. <laughs> Hi, TikTok. <laughs> this is my voice. This is for YouTube. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> my collection is about the infantilization of reality. <laughs> I just don't what know. does it mean? <laughs> So, basically it's about seeing the world and how every day you wake up and you have another news of war breaking and climate change and you're overwhelmed and it's about how we always go back to like being a child to kind of like not see it or see it through like different eyes. It's kind of like about coming back to being naive but understanding that it's still happening and it's a form of like sheltering from like trauma and everything that's happening. So I had this idea of having models being like children and like having like a play date and um, drawings, those like gigantic silhouettes on the floor, trying to create their own little world inside of the silhouette by drawing inside of them and filming everything from above. So basically everybody yes. trying to spot what do you want to draw guys? <laughs> Look at this little rose. Can I call him rose? Beautiful. Hey. Hi. Ça va? Ouais, ça va et toi? I don't remember <laughs> anything <laughs> beyond <laughs> trauma. <laughs> So it's all about that. It's all about like the children and how I feel like 
our generation still feel like children but also having like a nice and colorful approach to it because we've realized that anything that's climate change or i mean in general you need to have like a positive approach i mean more people helpful. don't have hope they're not gonna do anything they're not gonna anyone. do anything anyway and it's just gonna be more anxieties even if you see a front bar you're like oh it's colorful it has nice shades it's big like and you're like yay happiness and the message is not happy but at least it makes people happy happy world uh, life and plastic it's fantastic for me, Bobby. Let's go, Bobby. Ah, 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 are you guys in real estate? <laughs> yes, we are. Just this is selling <laughs> sunsets. <laughs> This is an amazing property. As you can see from the outside, we have a full concrete edge, four corners, and beyond those walls, an infinity pools. We are on 100 kilometers square feet. Five rooms, four bathrooms, a game room, a bar, and a sex dungeon. Let's talk investments. Do you think your client would like this? This kind of property goes really fast, so, I recommend that you act really fast because oh it's God. not going to be here for long. <laughs> like tied to polyester suits. Um, and then they bitch like this. Like skinny. Uh, Have you heard what Christina like said the other day at the party? I'm going to grab that fucking bitch. The reason it took me so long to embrace my creativity and start doing the things that I like was that I feel like my whole life I've been made uncomfortable by people. I feel like I've been living life uncomfortably. And I don't want people to feel that way. So it's super important that everyone on set is comfortable, that the vibe is nice so that everyone can do what they have to do in the best condition possible. Even if we don't have budget, because that it has nothing to do with budget. Like a piece of art. Mm. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it could be. Oh, oh I'm myself oh. anymore. <laughs> Yeah. Vocals. Oh, <laughs> locals are vocals. Vocals are vocaling. <laughs> oh my god, I have so many neck folds. <laughs> but the clothes are really nice. Look at, oh, look at all this serious yeah. crowd. What do you mean? I really like directing. Like, I really like being a director. And interacting with people on set i think i've been growing a lot of confidence doing this as well wow. director <laughs> director director you just go like you just go like, like that and then you open and then you get to like okay going from like yeah and <laughs> <laughs> the only thing is I always get frustrated with the result. <laughs> okay, do you want to rewatch the video? Sure. Okay, I want honest review. Honest review. Yes. Really? <laughs> yeah, I really love it. I love it so much. What was I frustrated about? First of all, 
the location in my head i wanted to film this video outside i wanted to have green grass or at least something natural but because we filmed in december it was a bit complicated and because i wanted to film from above it was even more complicated didn't have that much more time left shannon was really busy i was also i was not busy i was just very depressed that's not funny so we said let's do it inside and then i didn't really think about what the background would be anymore and so in a lot of the frames it's this wooden floor that i feel like makes no sense being there and it just breaks the whole immersion that you can have in the video so that was one of my first frustration that i should have thought about like i should have thought about maybe having like fake grass i don't know but that's things i saw once i was editing and i was like oh shit like i should have thought about that and also i feel like there's no end i feel like it should have ended with them falling asleep or something like that because i like the beauty of like the child creating their own world and stuff mm. like that and i feel like mm. if they had maybe fallen asleep it would have been like Mm. you know like they're dreaming about the little world that they just created and stuff okay there's a lot of story i get yes I get it. one thing i do like though is the sound design i spent an entire day recording myself with my tiny mic making those weird childish noises but it was so much fun and i actually really like sound design and that's something i really want to explore more as well I mean, we've submitted it for the competition anyway, so for that it's too late, but yeah. it's, it doesn't matter, like, we can still rework it. Maybe instead of that, I should, like, cut them so we can post them on social media and it's more like short clips. Yeah. Because I like when they dress each other up as well, I think it's mm. very cute. It's just the floor. But apparently on this part, it works. I really mm. like it. Okay. I do. You sure? Yeah. And then I bet one time at like 3 a.m. you'll be like I had another idea I did it this way and yeah, yeah. super funny <laughs> so I'm like okay. I'm waiting for the next <laughs> editing yeah but I think it's because my problem in general no actually now that I've watched I've <laughs> I've seen the scale and the number of people working on one video tiny piece of content yeah. and so it made me feel so much better about myself it's normal that it's not perfect or like exactly how we wanted it I mean you're only one person yeah, and I wasn't even there for the shoot. But that's why, in general, in my work, I like to do more spontaneous thing. And actually, my favorite things we've done together are the things where it was just us and a yeah. small camera. The McQueen photo shoot, I think, is my favorite it's one. It's so good. It's so good. It's it so was good. just you, me, our model yeah. at seven a.m. in the morning, and we just <laughs> no light, no nothing, and we just shot with the point and shoot camera and yeah. it's literally the best pictures we've ever taken yeah usually i prefer this because i don't expect anything from it and then yeah. i'm pleased with the result whereas when you do very project thing i have so much expectation and so many things to think about and, and then I, I end up being frustrated with the result yeah. i wanted to say as well is it is gonna be cheesy i'm so grateful that we grew up like literally grew up creatively together yeah. not mm. always been perfect and we had some great yeah. results but we also had a thing where i was like but we're like always it. proud but i'm no but i'm glad that you still kept me and you still wanted to work with me we made that video because shannon is a finalist for its content which is like a fashion contest in italy earlier this week they released uh, a profile of each finalist they wrote the reason why they got selected mm. there was like a paragraph about you that said was the body diversity in the casting and i was like oh, finally because this is something i fight for so much and i feel like i'm being so annoying when i do it that's also why i did not want to do art direction anymore because i was like i'm tired of like having to fight for this and nobody cares so when i saw that and that i saw that they acknowledged it and that yeah. they said that it was a reason why also they selected you i was like finally i'm not fighting for nothing no. <laughs> and i'm not expecting anything from big brands anymore so <laughs> young designer wake the fuck up please, please. <laughs> nicely asking <laughs> so instead of going to therapy we're making youtube videos <laughs> yeah i'm going to therapy every week <laughs> oh good for you Yay. but i promise this time i'll be back soon for real bye bye <laughs> goodbye <laughs> really went on the left. i'm accepting venmo paypal and bank transfer my <laughs> <laughs> wish wishlist is in the bio